While Alexstrasza herself is one of the eldest and most powerful dragons alive, her former prime consort Tyrannostras was stated to be her elder by several hundred, possibly thousand years. During the Second War, two out of Alexstrasza's consorts died while she was captured by the Dragon Maw clan, while Tyrannostras remained by her side. He eventually sacrificed his life fighting Deathwing, allowing time for the Dragon Queen to be freed from captivity. Red dragons were gifted by the titans with understanding the secrets of life, and as such also have an understanding of death. At least some red dragons, including Coriostras, were capable of at least a form of necromancy, though they usually only use it as a last resort and are not fond of doing so. As the red dragonflight represents the aspect of life, their blood also has healing properties. It was used especially by the Dragon Maw clan even long after the Second War, although it was only available in limited supply. A thousand years ago, a brutal war broke out between the Nidos and the Bronze Dragonflight versus the Kiraji. Eventually, the tide of the war turned against the Kaldorai, and, as such, the bronze leader Anachronos called for the aid of the other dragonflights. During this conflict, the red dragons were led by the son and heir of Alexstrasza, Kaelostras, who was believed to be lost during the final attack on Ankiraj. In actuality, he and several other dragons were enslaved by Cthulhu and used to power the obsidian destroyers. He was eventually freed by adventurers and appears later on in the battle in Twilight Highlands, at one point fighting to distract Deathwing in order to allow a wounded Alexstrasza to escape. He then participates in the final battle against Sinestra and gives his life in order to grant an advantage to the raid. Following the Battle of Grim Batol after the Second War, the Red Dragonflight stationed a significant force outside the gates of the fortress, who could also be seen during Vanilla. At one point before the Cataclysm, however, the Red Dragons had to abandon Grim Batol once many of their numbers started falling ill, going mad, or even dying, unaware that Deathwing's former mate Sinestra was nestled within the ruined city.